Hello, so this video is about 20 fat burning snacks. What if you were allowed to eat tasty snacks while losing weight, burning fat, and building muscle? Wouldn't that make dieting a lot more fun and easier to stick to? Well, today I want to go over exactly that. These are 20 snacks that'll fill you up, help you save calories, and help you take in more protein on a daily basis. And the first simple, virtually calorie-free snack is a crystal light popsicle stick. These are super simple to make and they do an excellent job at satisfying your sweet tooth. All you need is crystal light, water, and a popsicle mold, or alternatively, you can use an ice cube tray. Simply take the crystal light, mix one packet with the recommended amount of water, and pour it into your popsicle stick molds. Then put it in the freezer and a few hours later, they'll be ready. If you don't have a popsicle stick mold, they can be found on Amazon or at your local grocery store for just a few bucks. But if you wanna make these now, you can use an ice tray instead. You would fill the ice tray with the crystal light, wrap the ice tray in plastic wrap, and put a toothpick into each cube before freezing. For our next very low calorie healthy snack, we have kale chips. Now, even though kale isn't necessarily high in protein, it is incredibly nutritious, especially when compared to other snacks. It's packed full of vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. Just one cup of raw kale contains more than 100% of your daily needs for vitamin A, C, and K. And making kale chips is super simple. Start by taking a big bowl and add one cup of bite-sized kale leaves, one tablespoon of olive oil, and a pinch of salt, and mix these three ingredients together. Then place the pieces of kale on a baking sheet and bake them for 10 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit while keeping an eye on them because kale chips can burn pretty easily. Once they're finished, each 100 gram serving will only contain about 40 to 45 calories. And unlike potato chips, it'll be packed full of healthy nutrients. Another excellent replacement for potato chips that is actually high in protein is Quest chips. Quest is known for making protein bars that taste really good without being too heavy in calories. Well, they also make some very tasty chips that have a far better macronutrient profile than the chips that they intend to replace. For example, if we look at nacho cheese Doritos, we see that a one ounce serving contains 150 calories with two grams of protein, 18 grams of carbs, and eight grams of fat. Now looking over at Nacho Cheese Quest Chips, a one ounce serving contains 130 calories, which is only 20 calories less than the Doritos. However, unlike the Doritos, the Quest Chips have a whopping 16 grams of protein, only five grams of carbs, and five grams of fat. Now, of course, you can still gain body fat by overeating protein. However, most people take in too many carbohydrates and not enough protein. So a snack like this can really help you meet your protein needs while satisfying your cravings. Next, we have Greek yogurt, and normally I tell guys to avoid the flavored varieties because they're packed full of sugar, and instead to add your own berries to plain Greek yogurt to save calories. However, there's a way to make this snack taste just as good and save even more calories. All you need is plain Greek yogurt and a flavored water enhancer. There are many different brands, including Crystal Light, Mayo, and Crush, but they're all almost zero calories and full of flavor. So just by adding a few drops to your plain Greek yogurt, you can make it taste just like the flavored variety, except without any of the added sugar. Of course, you wouldn't get all the micronutrients that you would get from mixing in your own berries, but you can also save the berries for a separate snack without adding any extra calories to your yogurt. Another excellent snack for you peanut butter lovers that are dieting, you might want to try PB2. PB2 is a dehydrated form of peanut butter, so it comes in a powder form and you have to add water and mix it to turn it into peanut butter. The great thing about PB2 is that it has 85% less calories from fat than regular peanut butter does, and it actually still tastes really good. I personally even prefer it over regular peanut butter. This is awesome because two tablespoons of natural peanut butter will cost you about 200 calories, while two tablespoons of PB2 will only be about 45 calories. Once you mix it with water, you can use the PB2 in a number of ways, including spreading it on an apple, celery, or simply throwing it into your protein shake. Next, we have jerky, which in its basic form is a healthy, high-protein, portable snack. Most people assume that jerky means beef jerky only, and even though beef jerky is fine, there are other varieties like turkey, bison, or pork that all fall in a similar category as far as macros are concerned. Instead of worrying as much about which type of protein you select, you should be more cautious of the additional flavors and preservatives that are added to certain types of jerky. For example, the original style of beef jerky is gonna have fewer calories and sugar than the sweet and hot or teriyaki flavor. 
Also, if you can get your hands on higher quality jerky derived from grass-fed beef, you'll take in more healthy omega-3 fatty acids than grain-fed beef, as shown by a study published in the British Journal of Nutrition. Another healthy crunchy snack that can be used to replace potato chips is baked zucchini chips. Even though these aren't quite as low in calories as kale chips, they will still save you at least 100 calories when compared to a standard size serving of potato chips. And if you don't like kale chips, you should still try these because the taste and texture is definitely different. You would simply take one zucchini, cut it up into even sized pieces, then press the water out by sandwiching the zucchini pieces in between two paper towels, then line the zucchini up on the baking tray and spray with olive oil spray. Finally, add a small amount of salt and bake for two hours at 225 degrees Fahrenheit until they start to brown. Moving on to the next one, I've worked with enough clients to understand that some people can't live without chocolate. Unfortunately, chocolate is typically high in calories and sugar. The best variety is 85% dark or darker, since the darker chocolates will contain less carbs and more antioxidants. So that makes it sound like not a bad deal, but just a few squares can cost you hundreds of calories. So a great low calorie snack to satisfy chocolate cravings is hot chocolate. You can make it by simply mixing together two tablespoons of unsweetened cacao powder, two cups of regular milk or cashew milk, one to two tablespoons of stevia, and one eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then add steaming hot water, mix it, and enjoy your hot chocolate for only about 35 to 50 calories. Now, more of a liquid snack that isn't very high in protein but is still plenty filling happens to be tomato soup. It's so filling because it takes up a lot of space in your stomach, which helps activate the stretch receptors inside your stomach wall, and that signals your brain that you're full. Just keep in mind that pre-made soups can have a ton of additional unnecessary calories and sugar added into them. So instead, there's a really easy way to make it yourself. Simply mix 500 grams of canned whole tomatoes and juice with one chicken stock cube. Then bring it to a boil in a large saucepan, and once it's boiling, sprinkle in a bit of stevia to add some flavor. Ultimately, you'll have a delicious bowl of soup that only contains about 59 calories. Next, we have a bodybuilding favorite, banana protein pancakes. By making these intelligently, they can be both healthy and nutritious. All you need is one ripe banana, two eggs, one scoop of vanilla or banana flavored protein, and one third of a cup of rolled oats. Start by blending the banana and the eggs in a blender first, then add the oats and the protein powder to the blender and blend again until it's smooth. You can also add some stevia to make it taste sweeter. This mixture is now gonna be your pancake batter. Simply pour it onto a nonstick frying pan and cook each side for about 30 to 40 seconds. You'll be left with delicious pancakes that contain only 115 calories and 15 grams of protein per serving. Another high protein snack that you can simply buy at the store and eat without any preparation is pork rind. Pork rinds may scare a lot of people away because they are pretty high in fat. A one ounce serving contains nine grams of fat, but it also contains about 17 grams of protein, which puts the snack at a two to one protein to fat ratio. If you watch some of my other videos, anything above a two to one protein to fat ratio is typically pretty good, especially for a snack. Another example of a food with a similar two to one ratio is Parmesan cheese. And even though it's primarily used to top off certain meals like zucchini pasta or cauliflower pizza, there is a tasty snack that you can make using only Parmesan cheese, and that's Parmesan cheese crisps. You would simply take one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese and place it flat on parchment paper or a nonstick oven pan. Repeat this process a couple times to make multiple Parmesan crisps. Then preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and cook the cheese bites for about three to five minutes or until they become golden brown and crispy. You can then serve these with some salsa for a tasty high protein snack. Now, if you don't have trouble meeting your daily protein requirements, you can choose popcorn as a snack instead of some of these other high protein options. Although popcorn isn't high in protein, it can actually be a very effective snack for fat loss. This is because it's very filling per calorie thanks to the fact that it's high in fiber and has a very low energy density with only 31 calories per cup. Popcorn is so filling that a study was able to show that after eating only 15 calories of popcorn, participants were able to feel as full as they did when they ate 150 calories of potato chips. So who wouldn't like to feel just as full while taking in 10 times less calories? The only caveat is that you have to go for the no butter added variety. Once you start adding in butter, popcorn quickly loses its appeal as a low calorie snack. Now, if you enjoyed the banana protein pancakes, I think you'll love this next one, which is berry protein pudding. Again, it's super simple to make and excellent for your sweet tooth. 
All you need is a little under a cup of frozen strawberries, one scoop of whey protein, ideally strawberry or berry flavored, but vanilla will work fine as well, and some almond milk. Then you're gonna add the strawberries, protein, and a splash of almond milk into a blender and blend it until it's smooth. You can then serve it with some Greek yogurt and add some berries on top. In the end, this snack will contain about 26 grams of protein and a ton of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Let's move on to another sweet option that I only recommend you have occasionally, which is Halo Top ice cream. Now, don't get me wrong, Halo Top ice cream can definitely make you gain body fat. Even though it contains half the calories and significantly less sugar than regular ice cream, you can still easily overeat it and take in way too many calories. Obviously satisfying your sweet tooth with a calorie free popsicle stick would be a much better option from a calories perspective, but sometimes you just want ice cream and Halo Top is relatively low in calories compared to other brands. Each pint has only about 300 calories, so as long as you don't eat multiple pints and you have it in moderation, Halo Top ice cream can definitely be a great snack when compared to regular ice cream. Another high protein real food option that can be used as a very tasty snack is flavored tuna packets. Now, I understand that opening a can of tuna in water and eating it as a snack may sound really disgusting to you. It sounds disgusting to me too. I would rather eat cardboard. But there are some really tasty flavored options provided by Starkist Tuna Creations that you can eat right out of the packet and actually enjoy. One of my favorite flavors is the sweet and spicy tuna. One pouch contains only 90 calories and 16 grams of protein. They also have a ton of other flavors including ranch, sriracha, and hot buffalo. All of them taste good, contain a lot of protein, and are relatively low in calories. Next is a low calorie snack that I've gone over before, pickles. One Vlasic no sugar added bread and butter spear contains almost zero calories, and most people won't be able to eat more than a maximum of like 12 calories of pickles. On top of that, fermented pickles contain a colony of beneficial bacteria, which offers a wide range of benefits by adding healthy bacteria and enzymes to your intestinal flora. With that said, there are two things to keep in mind. The first one is that some manufacturers add sugar to their pickles, which raises the caloric value, so avoid those brands. And the second thing is that pickles are high in sodium, which generally it's not a problem, but it can be an issue if you're trying to reduce your sodium or if you have to drop water weight very soon. Something else that you can use as a high protein snack is a protein bar, but you have to be careful because there are many protein bars out there that are loaded with sugar or contain poor quality protein sources. If you're trying to burn fat, you'll wanna go with one that's high in protein while still being relatively low in sugar as well as fat. Out of all the protein bars that I've seen, Quest Bars and Pure Protein Bars are the best brand for an ideal macronutrient split. Regardless, whenever buying a protein bar, make sure you check the label to see how much sugar is added, and remember that you really don't want to be entirely reliant on protein bars and supplements to meet your daily protein needs. Another excellent high protein snack that isn't very creative but definitely gets the job done is a hard boiled egg. Eggs are not only one of the healthiest foods you can eat, but they're also excellent for controlling your appetite. A medium sized egg contains only 63 calories and it's very filling because each egg has about six grams of protein. We have two studies that show that eggs can help reduce obsessive thoughts about food and reduce the desire for late night snacking. This makes hard boiled eggs great as a snack or even as a quick breakfast. In fact, the study found that eating eggs instead of bagels for breakfast helped participants automatically eat fewer calories over the next 36 hours. And in another study, applying the same change to breakfast led to significant weight loss in a matter of just eight weeks. Finally, one last healthy substitute for potato chips that works really well is eggplant chips. Just like the kale chips from earlier, all you need are eggplants, an olive oil spray, and salt and seasoning to taste. You would simply cut the eggplant into thin slices, then spray a parchment lined baking sheet with olive oil and place the eggplants on top of it. After that, you'll spray the upper sides of the slices with some additional olive oil spray and finish it off with seasonings like salt, pepper, and garlic. Then place them in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes per side at 450 degrees Fahrenheit until they're brown and crispy. Remember that the thinner you cut your slices, the more crispy they'll come out. So those are 20 delicious low calorie and high protein snacks that you can use while losing weight or bulking up. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you want any extra help or coaching with your diet or workout plan, and you want to take the next step, head on over to my website where you can get a full 42 day workout plan, a customized diet plan, a recipe book full of many more options like the ones you found in this video. And of course, a coach to answer all of your questions whenever you need. To find out more, click the link below in the description, or you could just head on over to my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. See you guys soon.